In any given season, victories come in all shapes and sizes. Some come in the form of championships. David, man, he's one heck of a competitor. And event wins. Super happy to, to start the championship off and points from the bike now and away we go. Small steps and evolutions. The engineers, they found the sweet spot and the reliability and the motor is insane. And in the form of personal triumphs. You no, know, it was an awesome first rally back. We learned a lot and by the end of the year. You know, I really want to be battling uh, for the leads. Great day for the Subaru camp. Great day for the Buckyak camp. But some victories remain elusive. Progression is never ending. Future success depends on it. This season, when so much has gone right, and progress has been indisputable, one benchmark remains unconquered. Yeah, you too. Bring it in, bud. Bring it in. An outright global rallycross victory. But on this day, with 10 cars blazing off the line, a perfect storm of dirt and mud filling the road to victory, and the biggest names in the sport drifting wide, could this be the moment when Subaru Rally Team USA finally tastes gold? One corner down, 10 laps to go. This is Launch Control. It's the final race of the weekend, and off the line, the blue and gray Subaru of Sfera and Saxon has launched into the lead. For the first time since Subaru Rally Team USA took on this mission to conquer the GRC, a Subaru is the hunted rather than the hunter. Only one lap complete of the 10 car final. The question is, can Sfera hold off the hard charging field? But to say that this was a tough weekend that led to this point would be an understatement. It all started a day ago. Snoqualmie, Washington. Dirt Fish Rally School. The team is in their element. We're here on this side of the street. Uh, these are all rally guys, so they like it. It's okay, this is what we normally do. Great to have the opportunity to come here and to do it with Dirtfish as well, which is obviously a, a rally-based company. To help to make it happen is absolutely awesome and it just makes me feel very at home. If there is a track on the GRC calendar that looks most like a rally stage, this is it. That's the good news. The bad news is the track is soft, slippery, with ruts that change from one lap to the next. Five cars go by, and by the time you come by again, it's like yeah, yeah. ruts push back a little bit where they weren't before. This is an event tailor made for Subaru, if they can keep it together. Every car in the series is battling the elements as much as each other. Each lap the cars run is taking its toll. You okay? Dude, Jack, my wrist up. Bam! Like, oh! oh! Swap out the damaged part and go again. Yeah, we got yeah I just gotta get my thumbs out, man, because I think it hooked my racket. thumb and just ripped it off. Clear left! There he goes. Ready to run again. By day two, Subaru has seen its share of broken bits. Today is the day. But their confidence is unwavering. We learned a lot yesterday, we did trial an awful lot of things and today when I had the first session in the morning the car was brilliant. It feels like I can race it harder and keep you sure she's at the front. Quiet confidence and anticipation has everyone on edge. 
David Higgins knows he's the underdog. He also knows he's got the rally craft to have a successful weekend. Sfera has dreamed of this track. Do you overdrive it or what? I don't know. Over me? Never. He's happiest at high speed on dirt. And this is Lasik's training ground. But sometimes all the cred in the world isn't enough to protect you. David's car is down to three wheels. A joker lap collision has him limping. The team will have to scramble to get the damage fixed in time. Cross member, all right. How's the death rock? Now it's pissed a load of oil out, mate. Must have ripped the seal, bro. Can we just change this to the upgrade? Yeah, the boys do all the other corners and just make sure we're right on that. Sfera Subaru took a beating as well. First time we'll do both. Yeah. Sometimes come back like that and that's the way it is. But the main thing is it's back together and he can go and race again. So boys did a, a sterling job, shall we say. It actually took a beating on that. I mean two cars come into contact with it and that's the end result. It's late in the game. Each Subaru needs a top three finish to advance to the final. David Higgins will make it after a strong run in the LCQ. Lasik won't be so lucky. Sfera heads directly to the final thanks to a hard fought second place in his heat. Not one inch of it was easy. Not one moment did things seem certain. That's the nature of Rallycross. Fight tooth and nail to the final, where the game is reset. A good start is crucial for a Rallycross win. Even with a successful hole shot, it's a long 10 laps to follow through. Sfera Isaksen is leading the Dirtfish final, and he's already taken his Joker lap shortcut. His lead is substantial, but he'll need to maintain a blistering pace while one by one his nearest rivals take the shortcut and gain ground. Too slow, and he risks getting past with no way of regaining his lead. Further back is David Higgins. His launch was equally impressive, but his outside starting position prevented him from taking the joker at the start. He's in fifth after one lap. His fight through the pack will be difficult. Nevertheless, his performance is impressive, considering this is his first and only rallycross of the year. At the front, Spera is seemingly miles ahead of the pack. The battle for second has kept them from making progress. But as he completes lap after lap, a lurking threat looms behind. The only car that can possibly catch him is the series leader, Yoni Wieman, and Spera knows that it will become clear once Wieman takes the Joker. For the moment, he focuses on putting down solid, clean laps. On lap five, Wieman dives for the Joker and comes out just two seconds behind Spera. The blue Subaru is in its element. This is Subaru country, after all. The next obstacle to overcome is Ken Block. 
Ken's mechanical issues have him limping through the course, and Sparrow needs to make a quick, clean pass to preserve his lead. It only takes a few corners, but he's through. With Ken now aware of lapping traffic, Weeman passes without hesitation. The gap is now down to 1.5 seconds. Less than two laps to go. Both Viking horns are unleashed, and he's not letting this one go. This is the moment the entire Subaru family has been waiting for. This is where they've wanted to be for three long race seasons. Two turns left. No turning back. And no giving up. Gold for Subaru Rally Team USA. No matter how hard and long the team has worked for it, they never really knew when that first win would come. The roadmap to victory is only truly understood once it is attained. And today, Subaru Rally Team USA drew their line on the map. Well, it's so important to everybody, you know? We have to fight so much for this. The whole team, all the Subaru. It's for everybody. It's for everybody, definitely. That's, is, is this even real? Are we no, all awake no. right now? No. This actually happened? Whatever you do, don't wake me up! <laughs> <laughs> If there's any place to win, this is the place to win. Perfect. A lot of dirt, Perfect. Subaru country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the best thing in my, my whole life. No, I mean, i the best. <laughs> they were prepared to struggle until they found success. Fair, I gotta ask you, you know, you've been banging away for three years to finally get that Subaru win. What, what do you contribute this to? And is there anybody you'd like to thank? Definitely Subaru and the guys working in Subaru. It's really hard working. We're never giving up. They undertook this endeavor understanding how high a mountain it would be to climb. Finally got one. But the elation of the win is overwhelming. This is, uh, it, uh, it's amazing. That's all I can say. Everybody, thank you very much. We knew when we took this sport on, it was going to be difficult. Thank you, everybody. This is for everybody. Doesn't matter what car it is, it's one team. There is not a single team in the GRC paddock that doesn't appreciate the work Subaru put in to get here. This victory is more than simply winning a race. An entire team working together raised up their drivers to a level where winning was possible. I think we have to change this, uh, the roof plate. Next time. Okay. It's just two podiums now, Charlie. Lucky. In here. It's in here. Don't, don't touch the roof. You're not going to... Hey! Good job. Excellent start. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Thank you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. These guys have all worked ridiculously hard. It wasn't easy. And now we get to enjoy that feeling. So it's good. What can I say? Sverre Isaacson is a freaking beast. I mean, what I saw was uh, just a hungry warrior, a Viking warrior that was just so hungry for the win, and if you made a mistake, he was going to pounce on you, and that's what happened. What this means to us as a team, it, it just relieves the, 
the battle of, of getting that win. You know, we, we fought so hard for three years to get that win, just to get to the podium. And now we got that elusive win that uh, it's been a hard fight. And uh, it's, it's a proud day in the Subaru camp, I can tell you that. Yeah, perfect. It's really good, really, really good. And, uh, and so important for the team and so important for Subaru and uh, the whole gang here, you know, that makes so much effort and so much work in the car. Really good. It's, uh, it's a victory for everybody, definitely. Today, Subaru holds the gold. For years, Subaru has stood behind the team at Vermont Sports Car. An entire company putting their weight behind their rally program. And in return, the team has taken Subaru to new heights. 14 podium finishes this year. 32 times we finished in the top two in a race because we're a car company. And when you're a car company, you race what you make. That's what you do. That's what shows your spirit to the world. They aren't simply part of a team, but are in fact part of a family. There you go. Thank you. We all act together as one big family and one big effort to show why the STI belongs on the track and in front. And this year, we, we feel very proud of what we've done. At the head office, Subaru Rally Team USA opens the doors to show their appreciation. It's professional, it's big league, but it's so grassroots at the same time. Seeing you know, Subaru, Subaru Rally Team here at Subaru, it's an amazing experience and it's a hands-on experience. It's really neat. It's really cool. I'm, I'm, I can't believe I'm sitting in one of these cars. You watch them on TV and it's just, um, it's neat. To have all the guys here at one point and to hang out with them for the afternoon is uh, pretty cool. The, the car was too light on her side, so we needed something to balance it out a little bit better, get some more traction, you know, so. So they had me sit in just for a couple of, couple of test drives and everything, how it's going to go. To cap off the season, the rally team secures another Rally America manufacturer's title. This rally really just proves what passion there is for the brand with Subaru, you know, that every time you're out on the road, it's lined by guys in their Subarus, following us down the road, videoing us, watching us, supporting us, so and just honoured to drive for, for such a fantastic brand with so much rally heritage. It is one team and one home for Subaru Rally Team USA, whether it's around the circuit of a GRC track or here in the woods of Michigan. Um, we're all here together to persevere and do well. You know, Travis really pushed really well and he got, got up to speed at a good level, and really surprised me to be honest of, of how quick he did get up to speak you know it's just funny to be able to, to race the guy that you know i grew up you know really really looking up to and uh I'm not saying he's old but he's definitely still kicking my butt so uh we're working on it. let's just see if we can uh, figure this out for next year then under the lights of las vegas the rallycross team chases one last podium for the season Sfera secures fifth overall in the race and the championship. In the first turn of the finals, it looks like Bucky's event is over. Swift work by the team gives them another chance at the restart. Lasik strikes back with a third place finish and the team's fifth podium of the year. Spotlight shines on the team in Las Vegas. Next year's plans are already well underway behind the scenes. Right, 
next evolution of Rally and Rallycross STIs will be unleashed in the forest and on the track, marking the next big step in the team's progression. We have so many uh, good things coming that we're really looking forward to the future. With four years of Rallycross development under their belts and an unrelenting push towards the pinnacle of rally performance, it promises to be a milestone year for the team. I'm happy, you know, we have take a big step in the right direction, definitely. There is no doubt in my mind that I'm on the best team and I'm stoked on what the future is going to bring to Vermont and Subaru. Going forward, it isn't like, oh, there's a Subaru. It's like, uh-oh, watch your back, boys, you know? We're here to fight, and that's good. Throw the old roadmap out the window. Subaru Rally Team USA is heading into new territory.